So what I need to do to the FD today is I'm gonna go put it in the garage, pull the wheels off and take them over and get them balanced. So I got the FD in the garage up on jack stands and I have all the caps off the wheels. I also brought the fuel jugs because I need to get some patrol. So I'm gonna take these and get them road forced and then get some fuel and then I should be able to drive it. I sh should be able to drive it. So I forgot my camera. I went and got fuel, dropped the wheels and tires off to get balanced. Hopefully he can get to them today. So I'm going to throw five gallons of gas in the FD and then hopefully I was planning on going over there around four, see if he had got to the wheels and then come back. If he did, I'll throw them on and uh, go drive the car. Make sure it got rid of that nasty shake that it had before. Let's put five gallons of gas in the FD. Now I'm going to run over and get the wheels and tires. Hopefully they're balanced. Just got back from getting the tires balanced. The uh, wheels are all straight. No bends, nothing like that. Um, all the tires were pretty out of balance except for one. And uh, one tire is uh, no good. He said something's wrong with the belt in it. So I'm gonna contact the company because I just got these tires. They don't have barely any miles. They have like a few dyno poles on them and maybe like a hundred miles. So I'm gonna see what they say about them because these are like $200 piece tires. So they shouldn't have any issues. I'm gonna throw them back on. That one no good tire I'm gonna throw on the, um, the left rear and uh, then I shouldn't have any issues with the, the front shimmying. Then uh, I'll contact the company, see what they say about this one bad tire that they sent me. And you can see that these uh, still have the, uh, the little nipples on them. So it's not like I have uh, been doing burnoffs or anything or any weird stuff with them. So they are uh, still, still uh, relatively new. They still have the nubs on them, but yeah, throw them back on, torque them, and uh, put all the caps and everything back on. Have all the wheels on, I still need to torque them. I also put those center caps on. If you didn't know what I was doing for a little bit, I was just screwing in all the little uh, Allen heads. The good thing about these that I like, the NTO3s, unlike the other ones, all these have Allens in them, so they look a lot better than the replica fake. Like they have a one with like, three Allens that you stick in and the other two are like fake. Now I need to put the new hatch strut on the bracket. So what I'm gonna do is bolt this piece I made to the bracket with this little bolt, and then I could stick it on the car. I pulled the one out of the old strut and uh, screwed it back in. They're not removable, so you have to cut it out. They, uh, you can get these out of different cars, but I just cut that one out because that's what I had right now. And uh, let me throw this together and then I could do this side. So the driver's side new hatch strut is installed. I pulled off the quarter trim and uh, one thing I noticed was these clip onto the original hatch strut so they won't work on these. So 
making that little guy right there was kind of a waste of time and uh, everything. So, um, well, not a waste of time because it is the correct size that needs to be. It was just a waste of time because I thought this would clip on there. So now I'm gonna do the passenger side, put this trim piece back in and then uh, should be good to go. I guess I'll see right now if this thing, this one new strut will hold the weight of this hatch. Barely, man. Yeah, barely. I'm gonna have to get a stick to uh, to hold this hatch up because it's a heavy, heavy girl. She needs to lose some pounds, I think. I have the driver's side trim piece all back together. Now I'm gonna work on the passenger side, pull the trim piece and then uh, pull the strut, cut that little piece out of it. And uh, you know, then I'll have a hatch that stays up by itself.
Time to take this bad girl off the jack stands. The hatch, look at that, all by itself. So I fixed this little cover. The guy had these like tied together, so I made them separate. So now the little privacy cover, you know, does its own thing. The, the hatch, you know, you know, holds itself up and everything, which is nice. These things need to do whatever they're gonna do. And uh, that's closed. She just needs, uh, I need to put the rotors under the wheels. Makes it easier to get to the, uh, you know, jack the diff up and uh, get it off the jack stands. But I'll do the front first and I think that's it. Then I'll go take it for a test drive, make sure that the uh, the whole vibration deal is gone. I have been working on the VR4 bumper. It's not on the car, so that means it's uh, you know being worked on. And uh, let's get this thing on the ground and go take her for a drive. The FD now is on the ground. I torqued the wheels. Should be good to go for the test drive. I'm gonna warm her up and uh, then put my grandma's car back in the garage, move those rotors. Hot cars at night, can't even see them. So uh, yeah, if there wasn't silver wheels on it. So letting her warm up, I'm gonna go take her for the first test drive with balanced ass wheels. And we'll see if she does the, the shake anymore. I hope it goes away because that would be awesome. Listen to that rotary though, rotary life, hell yeah. Drove the FD over to my favorite spot, Sonic. And uh, at 50 miles an hour, there was no shake, but I'm gonna take it on the highway and see what she says. But yeah, so far, so good. Can't really see this at night, but this is silky smooth. There's no vibration of steering wheel anymore. I think there's a wheel bearing going out, like somebody said in the previous video. But other than that, um, she's good to go for now. I still need to do the turbo manifold. Like I say that like every video, but I, you know, that's why I don't really have it gotten on it. And it should be nasty once the turbo manifold, the new turbo are on, but for now, it is, uh, you know, getting getting better as I uh, do stuff to it. I'm glad I got everything fixed on the FD so far. The tires getting balanced, the tires and wheels getting balanced were a very huge help in the car's drivability. Now it doesn't shake, the steering wheel doesn't shake, it doesn't feel, you know, the car is so light and uh, you know, it's so stiff as is, uh, the you know, the little, littlest out of balance that the tires were, I think they're like, one of them was like five kilograms or something. But uh, it, it really, you really feel it in the steering wheel. They, the car is very direct. It isn't like, you know, a new BMW or something that's new. Um, even the VR4 is less direct than the FD. I think even a 240, like an S13 is less direct. Uh, the FD is a real driver's car. So, I mean, those tires being out of balance was a big, big deal. And it made the experience of just driving the car a lot, you know, less enjoyable. So now I'm really happy to be able to drive it around. I really need to get that new turbo on it uh, because that will make the car just like extremely nasty. Um, you know, be able to probably bake those um, Nitto's just off all day long and I'll probably break trannies though because those are really sticky tires. Uh, I'm also glad that I got the, the hatch struts. I had to make a piece as you saw in the video and uh, now that the hatch struts are on, it holds the hatch up. I don't have to hold it up with my head or do some crazy stuff. Um, they do hold themselves up or it does hold itself up with the new hatch struts. So uh, if you like these videos, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe if you're not subscribed. See you next episode.